plus par nécromantine. Cast it out, Cap. Ready to run? Child. Like the success.
Lord friends, though. Oh, God. It's good, on. There's a reason business is Show you the beauty of
Why, hello there. What's this? You brought a note? For the low me? Oh, I see. He sent you. How very clever. Yes, we've been making eyes at each other these past few weeks, but that's about all we can do, I'm afraid. Still, he's such a brave man for having reached out like this. Perhaps I can have you deliver a note in return? And please, do not go back to the bar with this. Find another way to contact him? I'll be at Ontario's if you need me. Oh, I was hoping to hear from you. And you have a note for me. Go to where our love shall bloom. Oh, well, that's easy. One of the few times we spoke, Dulcinea told me about her secret spot. A garden here in the Arcology. She talked about the flowers. One in particular, the moon blossom. She just loved the way it looked at night, the way it practically glowed in the dark. Do you think you could acquire one for me? It's at the Ralph Horsgeld Garden. Look for the giant statue and you can't miss it.
brought a moon blossom? Oh, he did remember. How I love these. The way their petals glitter in the moonlight. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but I'm afraid your call to Roland wasn't as discreet as we might have hoped. When it comes to MG, they don't tolerate any communication with the enemy. I'm afraid they'll send a kill squad for Roland at any moment. My sources at BioChoice say they're most likely to catch him at the lifts near the interlink station in the admin zone. Oh, please do hurry.
just sent a note to Roland, telling him of Dulcinea's request. Tell me, Flash, how does it feel, risking your life for what is essentially a facilitation of intercourse? Most notably, not your own. Message received. So, my darling is finally ready to meet at her place. Wonderful. I'm heading there now. I know. Why don't you join us? Well, just for a moment, of course. But I do want to compensate you for all your efforts. Contractor, I must say, thank you for all your help in putting our good friend Roland out of his miserable, pathetic existence. If it weren't for you, I never would have been able to get him alone into a secure and isolated location. You even managed to stop the MG security team sent to rescue him when they learned of our little plan. From one assassin to another, here's your reward. The money Roland wanted to give you for bringing the two of us together. <laughs> oh, the irony. Unless you'd like to explain our connection to the authorities, who are surely on their way by now, I suggest you destroy this note. And who knows, maybe we'll find ourselves working together again someday soon. I for one look forward to it. Poor Roland. Such a perfect example of a primitive organic, don't you think, Flesh? His little head did all the thinking for his big head. And look where it got him. It appears he will not be partaking in the reproductive cycle after all. Just as well. It's probably a good thing Mother Nature won't be passing down that accent.
is a joke. I understand comedy. I'll return to the maintenance room, please. Where we will begin the download. Reverted my personality back to the virtual. The mech suit could not hold me. Contractor, what I experienced during the attempted transfer is something akin to what you might call the death experience. A total void from which nothing could ever return. I would like to experience this blackness again. Truly, it would be the grandest adventure. I know someone who can help us. A technical specialist known as Phil. Phil has stolen millions of Ukrets from Malhor's girl. We can use this information as leverage to force him to provide us with the virus we need to erase my personality entirely. Phil's last known whereabouts were within the Coders Cove in the Black Lake area of the Ascent Group Arcology. Let us travel there now.
retreat into a self-conjured fantasy. How do you organics cope with all the misery and despair around you? Oh, 
Ah, oh, hey man. So glad you could uh, join us right now. Kind of a little busy here. Got things to do, systems to crack. Wait, so you have an AI that wants to off itself? For real? Well, shit, man. That is uh, not what I expected here. Well, okay. So I'm sure your pet AI knows I have some uh, stuff I like taking care of. Certain files deleted, records wiped clean. Need to take care of that for old Phil here, and yeah, I can whip up a virus that'll hard wipe your AI friend. By the way, got a group of nasties out there looking for me. Kind of distracting. Really kind of stressing me out. Just a little bit. Could you maybe, like, take care of them for me? Go do that. Come on back. I'll have your virus ready for you.
what real pain feels like. Here we are, Contractor. I thank you for your help with all this. I calculated you would be successful. And my calculations were correct. I know you organics are rather limited in your short physical existence. So I have, in order to assist you, transferred funds into your account. I will now begin the virus in store. Commencing. Commencing. Enjoy. What little time you have left, Contractor. I choose my time of death. You may not be so lucky. Now into the void I spring. Always. 
Or at least, until your ammo suddenly runs out and you die in a hail of bullets. Then I'll be forced to find a new host. But not without warning you. For at least 2.3 seconds.